All right, what's up, guys? Um, I'm going to be doing the Milestone 2 demo um, for those of you who are interested in watching this. So um, for the Milestone 2, you guys are going to... Let me actually read it here. Uh, you're going to be building a three-story building, and you're going to be connecting those three stories with stairs and then either finishing the top with a another floor or with a roof, however you want to handle that top of the third. Um, <clears throat> so all the spaces must connect using stairs. Uh, please don't use ramps. It's too much space for you guys to deal with. Keep your room small. You don't need to go super crazy big with them. So right here I have my project and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to need to put in um, another floor here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, there it is, to my elevation view. I'm going to copy and paste level two up here and I'm just going to put it at 10 feet. Don't go crazy high. You don't need to for this. Um, and then I will generate through view plan views, another floor plan, not going to worry about a ceiling plan, and then I'm going to go to architecture wall, and I'm going to select, uh, for this I'm going to do one of these exterior bricks, and I'm going to edit this to exterior brick with wood, wood, stud, there we go, okay. <clears throat> um, you don't have to change the color of the surface or anything, but I do want to see you guys come in here and again change this value to a wooden joist. Technically it's a stud, but we're not going to argue. Okay, bad installation and oops, come back here and 5.5 uh, inches. Okay, so good right there, hit OK. So this is the only wall I'm going to use. You only have to use one. Um, and then I'm going to set my target height up here to level three, because I'm going to take this all the way up to level three. All right, so, um, oh wait, what am I on? Oh, go back to level one. Am I in a menu? Oh, what's this? Top walls of the three seconds right now. Oh, oops. Sorry, height level one, and then, oh, killing me here. Reset constraints, go to level one. Okay. Level three. There we go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, we will do wall finish face interior. So I don't know exactly how neat I, how big I need to go on this. So I'm just gonna do 12 foot interiors. Um, so something like that, and then we'll go to view, 3D view, and we'll tile the view so that we can see what's going on at all times. Um, I can get rid of this level three for now. I can move it up north. All right, so we've got these two views. Of course, I kind of wish it was, there we go. All right, <clears throat> so first thing I need to do is I need to get these three floors to go up to the level three, so up to level three. I want them to come up a little tiny bit up above there, um, so I'm just going to do um, an extra foot above on level 3, and it should pop up a little tiny bit there. Alright, now we need to go to level 1, and we start putting on our floors and ceilings. So floor, I'm going to find 10 inch wood joist floor, that's fine for this. And I'm going to put this floor in on level 1. I'm going to go to level 2, and I'm going to put the floor in here, and then I'm going to go to level 3, and I can either do a roof or another floor up here, and I'm, like I said earlier, I'm going to do a floor on my top floor here, so we can have like a weird little castle thing or something, I don't know. Um, again, if you see this, generally you want to click no to it. In this case, I want to click no. So there's that. Now let's go back to level one. <clears throat> I need a ceiling. So, um, so we're going to be fine with the gypsum wall board there. And then I'm just going to change this again to wood for the stud joist. <clears throat> and then set this to 3.5 inches okay oh shoot 
I didn't rename that. Let's go back. Okay. On wood stud. Edit. Okay, now we can set it to the correct value. All right. So there's our ceiling. Um, so again, because of the way this building is set up, I don't need it on the first floor and the second floor, third floor, excuse me, is open. So I'm going to do automatic ceiling on level one. And then that should have been this notification saying, hey, it's not visible. That's totally fine. Go to level two, click here, same notification. Now if I go to level three and I do that same thing, it's not going to give me an option because the space isn't enclosed. So we don't have to do anything again for level three here. Stop it. Okay. <clears throat> so back to level one. Um, let's go with a door. I don't care what door you use for this. I'm just going to throw this door in right here. Okay. Next, I need to start putting in my stairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kind of in the middle here, and we'll bring it over, and then we'll see what we have left as far as run. Um, I'm going to do exterior support right for the wall or for the staircase. So I'm going to go up to, and I'm going to make it four feet across. Just I think three fits too narrow. It's like a cramped stairway. Okay. Except that we don't have nearly enough space. So we'll go right about here. Yeah, that's good enough. Now let's go back to three foot. <clears throat> it's a demo after all. I'm not living in this. Okay. So five foot six right there. Zoom the staircase. And bring this up to there. Didn't like that last one. Let's go. I might have to draw this one in. Nope, it got it. Okay. So there's our first flight of stairs right there. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to hit the check mark. Uh, we say rails not contiguous. Not too concerned about that. That's just a weird little break right there. Um, did I change how I was drawing it? I don't think I did. Hmm, okay. I'm not worried about it. So. <clears throat> now I need to go into here, and I need to find, and one way you can get things, so you're going to see I'm going to flash on and off a whole bunch here. Um, what I'm doing is I'm selecting, um, and it's not letting me grab it here. So I'm going to go to wireframe, and I'm going to see if I can grab, okay, let's just take this wall all the way down. So I need something so I can come in here and actually grab the wall surfaces that I'm working with. and or Sorry, the walls, sorry, surface and floor surfaces that I'm working with. Ceiling, jeez, cannot talk today. All right, so we have this right here. I'm going to do edit boundary, and um, I'm just going to come in here and start chopping away. So um, I'll probably just end up doing the same for each of these floors um, so I can get rid of this side and then I can come over here chop that one off chop that one off um, and that should be that ceiling right there um, next I'll do this floor so again I'll edit boundary um, and because of where this is I'll have to kind of start at this corner that would probably be the easiest way to do it and then just work my way around that way and then again I'll come in here and chop these extra bits off um, to clear out of the tool just in case you haven't realized I'm hitting escape to do that all right so happy with that that's got that first floor open um, next I'll go up to level two and I'm basically going to duplicate how my stairs go up exactly how they are right now. Um, you can change that for your project. Feel free to do kind of whatever you want to do here. Um, these are kind of half meant to show your skills and half meant for you to kind of, oh, I see what I did. I think I see what I did last time. Okay. Not too worried about it. Like I said, um, uh, let's see, we only want to go up to here and then reference did I get it oh I didn't get it there we go yeah so these are a little bit different because of that because I grabbed the wrong thing yeah all right all right so I'm um, happy with that that's my two to three 
So now I need to come in here, grab my ceiling for this floor, edit boundary, and again, same thing, go through, put in my line. And then we'll split these. Complete, ceiling, out of boundary. And again, I'm gonna hover over here, try and get that reference. And it's not gonna give it to me, so I'll just start at the corner and then work my way back. <laughs> okay. So with that done, I now have, nope, um, I have all these other things set. So the next thing I need to do is come back through and put in the ceilings, or sort of the walls that will fill in those spaces. Um, I'm going to use an interior wall, and technically I should use um, one of these, but I'm going to do an unfinished on one side. So I'm going to call this interior gap wall, I guess. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to we'll leave the exterior side as it is and I'm going to delete this side, the interior side. So now it's just the, um, the wood stud. Um, and we're not going to have insulation on it and it's going to be a 3.5 inch. Cool. Alright, so then from that, let's see, oh, I've got it out already. Um, so we'll start on level two. Just want to make sure I'm at the right spot. Oh, and uh, we'll do, yeah, well, center line's fine. And we'll do that. So, oh, and that. And then we might need to adjust where that actually came in. Yeah, I'm just going to drag this just right there. There we go. Okay, um, so this whole wall that I just built, again, back into 3D view, hold down control to select multiple surfaces, and again, it gets its Revit. You have to select on the corners. Um, so top, I'm going to change the top offset to negative 0.5 inches, just again to kind of, you know, negative 0.5 inches um, just to kind of get that little gap to come down um, and then just now yeah, that's fine how it is okay and then um, I can actually come to one of my elevation views what are we on right now we're on um, if you look at this little thing right here you can see which elevation you want to use I'm gonna go to east for mine um, and that'll actually let me should let me drag these up, but it's not going to give me that option. So we'll just enter a uh, base offset of eight. Oops. Undo that. <laughs> it, it deleted a bunch of times. All right. Where are we here? Oh, it doesn't reselect. Poo. All right. Back in here, control, select all these. Where did that one go? Okay, so we'll set the base offset, not moving my mouse out of there, 8 foot, 0 0.5 inches. And that should get it just above the ceiling there with that little tiny gap right there. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, and then again, I'm going to do that to the next floor down here, so I'll switch this back to level one, use my, uh, the, this wall, um, and trace this out. Oh, you know what I realized? Ooh, I may have done that wrong. Um, let me go back and check something too, because I just realized I was placing that with the center line. Um, nope, stop it. Um, and I do have, so see the arrows? I do have these facing the wrong way. So I will have to change my direction. Uh, but because they're on the center line, it's not going to move anything. So just to be technically correct, um, I'm making sure that 
I'm gonna have to go to level three for this one. Nope, no, 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 no. Let's go to level two ceiling plan. Okay. There's an easier way to see it. Okay. So stairs are on this side. Flip these around. just too high because uh okay Bleh. okay my my view is only going up to so high so gap wall we'll take it down to seven foot so that we can see it did i get the right one yep and then Where are you? Okay, I think I got it that time. 8.8 foot, 0 0.5 inches. Alright, and then... Okay, back down. So yeah, that's why it's usually easier to do it right the first time. Um, so we'll get this floor, level 1. And just make sure again that these are all facing the correct direction. Um, I am using middle mouse to jump back over to this screen, so I'm middle mousing over here. Um, so I'm going to click on these, these, that one. Okay, and then um, again base offset 8 foot 0 0.5 inches and top offset negative 0 0.5 inches just to kind of bump them down a little bit and so that fills in that gap if I move this back up to I think I did one foot at the top there we are and then if I grab this and drag it down we can see this oh boo I have a gap there yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's something I would also probably go back and double check is make sure that those gaps are correctly filled in. Um, and it looks like I drew my floor slightly differently, but again, the point of the technical exercise is make sure that you get these gaps between floors um, filled in correctly. So that's your milestone two. Um, I will see you guys in a class because it's starting a minute ago. <laughs>